RuneScape may be quite an old game, but it's still very popular. And since you've found this video, I'm guessing you played too. I really enjoy RuneScape, but the grind can sometimes get to me. I like progressing, killing new bosses, unlocking new Slayer monsters, or just questing. What I don't like is the mindless grind that OSRs can sometimes be. If only it would be possible to have all the fun you want while skipping the boring grind and still progressing your account. What if I told you that is very possible and quite easy to do? In this video, I'll be covering RuneLite based OSRs clients that help you with many useful plugins, widgets, and even automation that can do the boring stuff for you. If this sounds interesting to you and you would like to learn more, keep watching and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. This will be a bit of a longer video and very beginner friendly. So if you'd like, you can jump around using the timestamps in the video to the part that interests you the most. Check the description for any links I mentioned during the video and join my botting Discord community, Botters United. That's all for that, let's get right to it. So what even are RuneLight based clients and how do they work? Well, RuneLight based clients are modifications of the RuneLight software, which is a free open source client for old school RuneScape. The RuneLight client provides you with an additional features and quality of life improvements that are not available in the official OSRS client. These clients are popular in the community due to the enhanced functionality and automation that they can potentially offer. RuneLight operates through plugins, which are small pieces of code that modify or add to the functionality of the client. These plugins are executed on the user's computer and can provide a variety of enhancements such as graphical improvements, gameplay assistance tools, and real-time information displays, and even automation of tasks. Players can customize their client by choosing which plugins to enable or disable. This allows for a personalized game experience that can be tailored to your own preferences and the activities that you are engaging with in the game. Plugins come in different shapes and sizes. There are very simple plugins that just show you your bank value or how much longer until you regenerate one hit point. And then there are quite complicated ones too that can do some crazy stuff such as do the inferno for you, kill high tier raid bosses, Zora, Slayer and much much more. The latter part is what we'll mostly focus on in this video. As the basic runelight stuff, I'm sure most people know by now. So why would you even want to use runelight based clients to help you advance? Well, there are as many opinions about this topic as there are RuneScape players, and every single one of them is unique to their own current situation. I cannot speak on behalf of the whole community, but I can share my side of the story, and maybe you are on the same boat and could benefit from it too. So, why do I use RuneLight based clients such as Dead Zone? Well, I can give you two answers, a short one and a long one. The short one goes like this. I am quite lazy, and I have other responsibilities that I need to take care of on a daily basis. I am old enough to not really have as much time that I could dedicate to playing games as I used to. The Dead Zone client helps me through the grindy part of RuneScape as I work and when I have time to play on my own, I can jump right into the fun stuff in the game that I actually enjoy. That was the short one, now for the long one. I really enjoy RuneScape and I've had fun playing it ever since I tried it for the first time at my local library when I was around 10 years old. Since then, I've played it on and off. When I was 14 or 15, I discovered botting in RuneScape and this channel was reborn with a purpose, to help others learn to bot. That has been going on for the better part of the last 7 or so years and I feel like I've done everything there was to do when it comes to botting videos on YouTube and to be quite honest with you, I'm really bored with it and uh, I just no longer find enjoyment in farming gold and it was quite stressful and just not something I want to keep doing for my own sanity's sake. Instead, I just want to play on a single account, progress it through the game and enjoy the process as I go through it. I did not want to use a regular botting client such as Palbot or Epicbot or Dreambot as uh, they are good if you want to use botting scripts, right? But if you want to play on a single main account, it's kind of wacky because you have to switch between clients and the ban rates are relatively high. That is exactly why RuneLight based clients are the perfect solution. You can just use a single client, RuneLight, to do everything I'd ever want to do in a game. I have access to any third party plugins when I actually want to play on my own, such as the Quest Helper, all the widgets and other stuff and when I want to use plugins that automate my actions, I can do it from the same client. I can set it to train cooking for me while I work, do slayer tasks for me, run agility labs while alking at the same time, and much, much more. All of that while staying on a single client. That's why I use it, and I'm sure there are many other people in the same boat as me that could benefit from this. What client should you use? 
You have quite a bit of options, be it Skillbox, Storm, Squire, and many more, but I personally prefer Dead Zone. Why Dead Zone? Because Dead Zone provides a variety of automation and utility for scaling, PVM, and even PvP activities, supported on RuneLite and other third party clients through their own custom launcher. Dead Zone is one of the longest running providers established in 2020 with 5k members in their Discord. They also have a dedicated support team who can help you with anything you need. Dead Zone is really easy to use and really easy to install too. People quite like it. Uh, here are some reviews from other users. Uh, feel free to pause and read them if you'd like. Next up, you'll see a quick overview of the client itself and its installation guide. I suggest you also check it out yourself. Uh, the link is in the description and if you do decide to join Dead Zone, you can use the discount code EDUARDINO at the checkout to receive 10% off your subscription indefinitely. More about that in the upcoming installation segment. First off, before you can install Dead Zone, you have to purchase access to it. Navigate to their store page, link will be in the description. Here you can read more about them, what they have to offer, and also join their Discord, which I recommend you do. Dead Zone works with many clients, be it RuneLight, Storm, Squire, Skillbox, and more, but I personally prefer RuneLight. Dead Zone is a subscription-based service, something that most of you are familiar with as I am sure you pay at least 20 bucks a month for a botting client, VIP, and probably even more for the scripts that you use. In this regard, Dead Zone is a killer deal, because you can get access to literally everything that they have on offer for just 30 British pounds a month, or that's around 35 euros. This includes access to all the plugins, Agility, Combat, Runecrafting, Nightmare Zone, Mother Alone Mine, and many other plugins, and even an Inferno plugin that helps you effortlessly complete that too. Imagine how much you'd have to pay at your regular botting client provider to get access to all of that. I suggest you head over to the plugins tab and just see for yourself. You can also buy packages separately, but that's completely up to you. Also, when using the link in the description of the video or just applying the code EDUARDINO at checkout, you'll get a permanent 10% discount on anything you purchase from Dead Zone. If you stay subscribed, it will auto-apply the code every time your subscription renews for the duration of one year. If your subscription did not renew and you have to resub, or you have been subscribed for a year straight, be sure to use the code again in order to receive that 10% discount. You can also purchase access using OSRSGP via their Discord. You can use the code there as well. Just mention it in the ticket that you create and the lovely staff at Dead Zone will apply that to your purchase. That's enough of that. Once you have purchased an access with the discount, it's time to actually set it up. It's real easy, just follow along. First off, you have to download it. Head over to their Discord, navigate to the download tab and download the appropriate file, depending on your operating system. Once it's downloaded, extract it to a folder on your desktop. Afterwards, if you decide to use Dead Zone with RuneLite, which I personally prefer, you have to get your RuneLite key. It's included in any bundle you purchase, or if you wish, you can purchase it separately too. To get your key, go to your Discord and navigate to the channel named RuneLite Key. There, just follow the instructions and the bot will direct message you your key. Now that you have it, we can move on and start the installation process itself. Open up your folder that you've extracted to your desktop and click on the DZ Launcher application file. Click on update when Dead Zone Launcher pops up and it will update and when it's done, the Dead Zone Launcher should pop up in its full glory. Here in the game tab, you have to input your RuneLite key that you obtained in the previous step. Paste it in and click submit key. If everything checks out, it should say valid. Then click update on the bottom left of the launcher, give it a few seconds and you should be good to go. There are other settings that you can set up at this point too. Clean your properties to make sure you don't get fucked up by the RuneLite cloud if you use it, add any external plugins, and even add proxies if you wish to do so. If you're looking for my go-to proxies, uh, check the card at the top right corner of the video or just the link in the description. You can also set the launcher to close after successful injection, enable PID and proxy to show up in your RuneLite. Very handy to confirm that the proxy you use actually works, and you can also increase your RuneLite memory if you wish to do so. Let's move on to actually installing and activating the Dead Zone plugins. Click on launch and it should open up RuneLite for you. Click on the wrench on the right side of the launcher and there in the search box look up DZ. Open the settings of the DZ injector and install the packages. I suggest you also enable auto install plugins so it also downloads any updates to them as you launch RuneLite. Now once you have them installed you will require the authentication keys in order to activate them. Head over to Discord and look for Skilling Key and PVM Key channels. If you bought the complete bundle, you will require both. 
If you purchase just one of them, just get the code for the one that you bought, be it PVM or Skillin. The process is the same as with the Runelight key. When your keys are hot and ready, let's activate the plugins so you can start using them. Look for DZ API in the plugin search window. Open up the settings and this is where you should paste in your keys in order to activate them. Just input them in the appropriate box and click Authenticate Keys. If you did everything correctly, once you are in game, you should see confirmation in the little dead zone box that you can enable or disable as you wish. If everything shows up as valid, congratulations, you are ready to use dead zone to help you progress your main account easier and safer than with standalone bot clients. Just search DZ in the search bar and you will see all the plugins. That's it for the setup guide. Hopefully this helped you prepare yourself for a new era of your botting adventure. I wish you best of luck in your journey. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using a RuneLand based client for your RuneScape automation needs? What you'll hear next will be based on using Dead Zone specifically, as that's the client I have most experience with and actually use myself on a daily basis. Let's first start with the advantages. Complex, but very easy to use. Dead Zone plugins are full of features and extremely customizable. For instance, the combat helper you can set to do many things, multiple save spots, uh, save spot setting, combat areas, looting profiles, enable it to handle Slayer superiors and much more. So what I'm trying to say, these plugins are basically equipped to do anything you want within that specific field. It may be a bit scary and confusing at the start as you have so many options, but very quickly you get used to it and you just go through the motions like a fish swimming in water. It took me around a day to get used to it and now I feel like I can do anything uh, basically I want without any limitations. Relatively safe. I'd say that RuneLight based clients are definitely safer than using third party clients. By utilizing a unmodified version of RuneLight, you are avoiding third party client bans. The less you change, the harder it is for Jagex to differentiate between normal clients and those with automated plugins. RuneLight is utilized by legitimate players. People tend to believe it's a safer method for botting. Whether it is or not is uh, still being debated. It has very wide variety of utilities. There is no need to download a special botting client of any sort, you just simply use your normal RuneLight client, which includes all of your normal plugins and settings. You can use everything in a single client. You don't have to switch when you want to access a Quest Helper plugin or you require some widgets. Just fire up the automation plugins whenever you require. Dead Zone is a really good deal. Dead Zone brings way more value to the table than it costs you to purchase access. Just take a look at everything you get for spending 15 to 30 euros a month. That's just insane value. Imagine how much all of those scripts would cost at a third party client, plus you'd also have to pay for a VIP subscription on said client. Here at Dead Zone, everything is included. Best part? I can even get you a better deal. Just use the link below to purchase or manually enter the code Edardino at checkout to get 10% off for a whole year worth of subscriptions. It really does add up. It's perfect if what you're looking for is progressing your main account. This type of software and plugins is the perfect thing if what you're looking for is progressing a single account through the game, as you can use RuneLight and actually play yourself too whenever you want and not have to switch between clients. Also, for this type of usage, I'd say the ban rates are definitely way lower than with separate botting clients. Now, talking about disadvantages. It's not great if you want to run a whole gold farm. You lose the flexibility uh, a dedicated client provides in regards to quality of life features for automation, though it's a minor issue in most cases. It's much harder for new developers to create automated content for a RuneLight. It requires a lot of workaround methods to perform sometimes even the simplest of actions. As a result, people don't usually turn to RuneLight based clients as their go-to gold farming client. It can be done, but you'll most likely have a better time if you use an actual third-party bot software to achieve that. That's about it. Nothing else comes to mind. If you'd like to add something to this, make sure to leave a comment so others can see as well. Now, something you guys are most likely wondering about. What are the ban rates of using such RuneLight plugins? There are many plugins to choose from and all of them would have a specific ban rate tied to them. I can't tell you much about other clients, but when it comes to Dead Zone, I'd have to say it's pretty good. As the client is not primarily used to farm gold, most people that use it don't abuse the shit out of it. If you keep your head low, vary your tasks and do some manual play in between, you should be good to go. I personally have been using it for a week straight, like 6-8 to eight hours a day doing different things and so far so good. My account is still up and running as I am writing the script. 
What I really like about Dead Zone is that they have customizable timings that you can change whenever you want, and randomized mini breaks that simulate how an actual player would play the game, and many other features that definitely help with ban rates. To sum it up, runelight based stuff can definitely get you banned, but it's not nearly as bad as it is with standalone botting clients such as OSBot. If you play your cards right, you'll get by just fine. Now we'll go over some tips and tricks and just general information you should keep in mind when using runelight based clients including Dead Zone. Do not use automation on an account you aren't willing to lose to a ban. This should go without saying, but bans do happen and you can't really predict when or why that will be. Using any kind of software assistance while playing RuneScape runs the risk of your account getting the hammer, so you must always follow the number one rule of botting in RuneScape. Do not use an account that you are not willing to lose to a ban. Do not run bot farms, this is for dead zone specifically. Running bot farms with dead zone creates large amounts of patterns for Jagex detection systems to pick up on. This is no good for anyone and ruins the luxury of these plugins for everyone else. It just basically puts everyone at risk. Dead zone was developed to make the tedious tasks in OSRS less of a headache, not for financial gain. Babysitting the account while automation is in use. Keep an eye on your account as it runs. Bugs may not happen often, but they can still happen from time to time, and it's best to be able to catch it if one occurs. Also, there are players in RuneScape that hop worlds and call out account names to see if people are using automation. Being able to respond in a timely manner could be the difference between getting those gains you're after versus getting the hammer from Jagex. Manual playtime and account age. It should be no surprise that account age and large amounts of manual gameplay on the account before using automation can make a huge difference in deterring a ban. Do not play outside of your normal playtimes. For example, if you normally play from 8 to 10 a.m. then take a break and come back at 5 to 10 p.m., it's best to stay in those normal time frames. This is due to Jagex auto detection system relying on patterns, not just automated patterns, but also the patterns of the player themselves. Mixing manual play with automation. As mentioned before, being able to make more human-like patterns is ideal to avoid detection. It's generally a good rule of thumb to use automation in smaller increments and add in manual play in between automated sessions. For example, do an hour of automation, then do something like a farm, seaweed, or a birdhouse run. It doesn't have to be a large amount of manual gameplay, just enough to make it seem like an actual person is playing the entire time. Smaller automated sessions. Make use of shorter sessions. This is pretty self-explanatory, but for example, no one in their sane mind is running lava runes for 6 hours a day manually while keeping efficient rates up uh, the entire time. Don't get me wrong, some do, but it's highly unlikely and will likely raise flags. Changing your default delays. It's also a good idea to change them. Inside the mother plugin titled Dead Zone, there are some delays. It's wise to change them for a few reasons, not just once, but from time to time. Some plugins run more efficiently at different delays. Changing your delays from time to time helps prevent having the same pattern every time you automate a skill, and also to diversify yourself from other dead zone users. For instance, if 50 people are running the exact same delays, it creates a larger sample size for Jagex detection system to pull from, which could potentially cause mass bans. Skill diversity, you should also diversify your skills. It's best not to automate something from let's say 70 to 99 for a couple of weeks straight or however long that skill might take. Break up your automation and spread it amongst multiple skills as well as mixing in manual gameplay. Also, talking to other players while babysitting, and this is pretty straightforward. Generally, people will not report you for botting if you are talking to them. To sum it all up, runelight based clients are a great addition to your runescape journey if you do not have the time or just do not want to grind all the boring stuff to get to the fun stuff. It is relatively safe to do so if you aren't too careless with it and try your best to avoid any bans. Dead Zone can help you with a very wide range of skills and tasks. Check them out. The link will be in the description of the video. That's going to be all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making it. Did you learn something new? Or maybe I missed something? If so, don't be shy and leave a comment. I do read and reply to most of them. Also, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe. I have many more videos similar to this that I've already published and many more on the way. Check the description for any links that I've mentioned and be sure to join my Discord community, Potters United. I wish you all the best of luck in your RuneScape adventure and I'll see you in the next video.